my next guests are vowing to investigate China's U.S. land grab, hold them accountable if they are able to take back the majority in the House. Here with more is Florida Congressman Mike Waltz, along with Congressman, uh, Texas Congressman Chip Roy. Mike, let me start with you. Um, this is a real clear present danger. Um, if I had, yep. if I was making policy, I would make them sell that land back to the U.S., considering, as the governor pointed out, it's illegal in the first place in Oklahoma. Yes. Yes, Sean, let me tell you what's going on in these Air Force bases. Uh, number one, the one in, in North Dakota has some of our most sensitive drone and space technology that connects our space assets to our drones. Uh, so to intercept that from a few miles away isn't that hard. And down in Texas, where they're buying up hundreds of thousands of acres, where we train our pilots, the bigger piece, Sean, is that the Chinese Communist Party is part of their national strategy to replace us as a global power, is seeking to dominate our supply chains. They already dominate our pharmaceuticals. They dominate solar panels and wind turbines that the left are trying to push us towards, the lithium supply. And in this case, now it's our food supply. In addition to this land that they're buying up, they've also bought the nation's largest pork processing plant. They're buying up grain mills because they know that if they can win this economically, if they can choke us off with these key supply chains, add computer chips and all kinds of others on top of it, then they don't even have to worry about a military com conflict. And you add our debt on top of that as these stimulus checks keep flowing out to deal with a virus that they unleashed uh, on us that are flowing through Amazon and Walmart right to their manufacturing. Uh, it, it's checkmate. So my message is when you see made in China, put it down. It's not just a nat, uh, jobs issue, it's a national security issue, and we've got to wake up as a country. Congressman Chip Roy, I've always been a, a peace through strength uh, person. You see, you know, because of the weakness of the president, an unholy alliance has emerged. You got the hostile regimes of Russia, Iran, and China, a new axis of evil, if you will. Um, I would immediately, if I were president, I'm not, uh, order that China has to sell that property or we will confiscate that property. Uh, I don't think Americans are allowed to buy uh, land in China, are they? Not that they'd well, want well, to. Sean. Yeah, Sean, thanks for that. And great to be on here with Michael. Look, we uh, introduced a year ago H.R. 3847, this uh, Curing America's Land from Foreign Interference Act, to specifically try to force that, right, to stop the Chinese Communist Party, our, our enemy, our adversary, from being able to pick up and buy American land. Can you imagine, Sean? I mean, you and I grew up in the 80s. Can you imagine if uh, we woke up one day and it was like, oh, Khrushchev is buying up a bunch of dirt across country? Can you imagine what we would do? The reaction would have been just off the charts, but yet we're kind of asleep the switch right now by the Chinese Communist Party is taking specific steps like Michael just outlined to attack our country. We got, and by the way, it's not just China. We, we've got 37 million acres in this country that are foreign owned. That's that's essentially the size of Iowa. We got to wake up, and not just governors. We got to wake up here in Washington. We got to prohibit this, stop it, uh, not allow them to have uh, our agriculture products have uh, the 140,000 acres next to uh, Laughlin uh, Air Force Base in, in Texas and South Texas and Valverde, Texas, uh, which is extremely extremely concerning from a national security standpoint. So I agree with you completely. You know, my mother used to say, we'll rue the day. Uh, one of the mistakes in Afghanistan, on top of abandoning Americans, pe uh, people with green cards, our Afghan allies, and billions of military equipment, uh, President Trump had planned on keeping uh, control of Bagram Air uh, Base, which would have been pivotal, especially from a geopolitical standpoint. Uh, this needs to be dealt with. And, and I hope General Milley was successful. I know he was meeting with his counterparts in the region, uh, creating partnerships to stand up against China. Let's see what comes of that. Uh, but this has to end. This practice needs to stop. That property needs to get back in American hands, and they need to go buy property in their own country. Thank you both.